imagine a world in which a product can be designed and reunite with the environment after it's created. And consider a world in which the design of buildings, structures, and communities can rewild natural ecosystems. Hi, I'm Neri Oxman. I'm the founder and CEO of Oxman. Oxman is a design innovation laboratory and a company of builders, of makers that operate across design, technology, engineering, and science. We seek to reinvent everyday objects for the benefit of both humanity and the natural world. One of the challenges for designers is that we're trained to think in three dimensions, X, Y, and Z. Nature doesn't work that way. In the natural world, specifically in the biological world, you have many more dimensions that describe how an organism is shaped, how it is formed, how it behaves, how it responds, how it adapts, and how it evolves. For example, we're working on shoes that are ecologically considered using robotics and AI and materials innovation. It is a product that can ultimately entirely biodegrade in the soil. And then that particular product continues its life. So designing decay is just as important as designing the product itself. AI-powered algorithms allow us to speak with and for nature. I think of the relationship between AI and humanity similarly to how I think about the relationship between nature and humanity. This is a relationship that can be shaped and should be shaped over space and over time to deliver solutions that benefit both nature and humanity. We make all these assumptions and we design these ecosystems and these landscapes with nature in mind, but never before had we had this access to the natural world in very, very high resolution. AI provides the ability to process very large amounts of data in a very, very short time. It also can be shaped as a thinking partner in the design process. How can we bring synergy between the built and the grown? And AI enables us to do just that. Is there a world in which designing a product like a wearable or a shoe, like a building or even a city, is actually better for nature than it would have been without its existence. What does that world look like and how do we prepare next generation designers, builders, thinkers to work and design tools and technologies that allow us to achieve that synergy? <laughs>